The first step is to diagnose your clutch fan. The easiest way to do this is with the newspaper test. The newspaper test is exactly what it sounds like. Take a thin piece of newspaper, roll it up, and ultimately shove it in your fan once the fan has reached operating temperature and see if it stops the fan or not. What you can see in this picture is my very dirty clutch fan. Uh, right there in the middle is the temperature sensor. When that temperature sensor gets above 96 degrees C, uh, it engages the viscous liquid in there, um, is released and engages the fan to spin at high speed, about 2500 RPM. Uh, when it cools back down below 60, the fan disengages and spins slowly. So the first failure for these fans is often that the temperature sensor no longer operates or the liquid no longer moves, which means it spins at only a slow speed, and that's often when you see overheating. The second failure you can see here, um, as you zoom in, this particular fan, uh, the inside bearings have kind of given out. You can see the metal shards. Uh, and so it was stuck in the high speed position at all the time and never went down to the low speed position. So here's me testing the clutch fan. Um, I have a couple pages of rolled up magazine, not the whole magazine. Um, the engine's at operating temperature, and that's the fan's at full speed, and I can easily stop it, which means my clutch fan has, has given way. Now that you know the fan clutch is no good, you do have the option of simply replacing the fan clutch, which is the middle portion. Um, I've done this before, but I find the entire fan assembly to be a pain in the butt, so I'm going to show you here how to delete it completely. The first step to replacing your old clutch fan is to remove it. Um, disconnect the two electrical connections, both are on the passenger side of the car. Um, then the clutch fan is held on by a counter-threaded bolt. This means that turning it clockwise loosens it. Uh, to use the clutch fan tool, ultimately you want to hold the water pump stationary while you twist the fan nut um, clockwise. Again, there's one electrical connection and the other one is right below it, right there. Again, just another angle right there. Keep an eye um, on these electrical connections because you'll ultimately need to uh, connect your new fan to them. You can see my uh, fan clutch tools right there. Uh, there is the fan bolt. Again, you're twisting that clockwise as you look at it. So this is me removing uh, my clutch fan. Again, I don't like this thing. It's probably not maybe the best idea to loosen it. Um, with a rubber mallet, but that is also why I have the, the cloth there, um, which protects the upper radiator hose and the expansion tank. Um, again, it loosens clockwise, as you can see right here. When you go to pull out the fan and the shroud, they come out um, as a unit. Uh, the goal is not to damage your fan blades here, unless, of course, you're not putting it back in, in which case you can be a little bit rougher. The fourth step is to remove the front bumper. Uh, there are two screws on the left and right lower corners of your bumper. Uh, you may also have screws in your wear weld liner. Um, I had plastic tabs. And then lastly, the bumper bolts, the big ones uh, on either side of the license plate, are a 12 millimeter socket. I borrowed some pictures. Um, right here are the two bolts on the corner of each bumper. And then right here are the two larger bumper bolts, again, 12 millimeters. This is the removal of the driver's side bolt, and this is the removal of the passenger side bolt. Uh, once you release these two bolts, uh, a little wiggle and the bumper will fall down. I did not need to uh, disconnect my fog lights or anything like that. I had enough lead wire, uh, but you may need to. just depends. The next step is to remove the electric fan shroud. Uh, this is so that you can access the electric fan itself. There are two plastic pop tabs on the top of the shroud, and there are two plastic tabs on each side um, of the bottom right and left of the shroud. There are the two pop tabs on the top of the shroud. And it's kind of hard to see in this video, but there are two there, and two plastic tabs there.
once you have removed the electric fan shroud, um, there are four 13 millimeter screws that hold on the electric fan. Uh, the fan then drops down and can be pulled out. Uh, here's the location of the screws. One, two, three, four. Two on each side. The next step is to install your new electric fan. Again, the new electric fan will go where you remove the clutch fan from. Uh, it's easier to do this uh, so that you can access the wiring and push it through if need be before you put your bumper back on. When installing the fan, it slides down exactly where the clutch fan came from. Um, there are a couple notches that you need to make sure line up at the bottom of the expansion tank and a couple other places. Um, also, you should be able to access the wiring and ultimately plug it into your new fan. The new fan is held in place with two screws that I just tapped, uh, just like the old fan. The next step is to wire your new fan. One of the electrical connections from the old electrical fan will be routed to the new fan. Um, it's a much larger, bulkier uh, connection. That's the red arrow here. The blue arrow is typically at the top of the fan and uh, is just reconnected. The next step is to test your fan. Um, first, make sure there's nothing in the way. No tools, um, no parts, no pieces, nothing like that. Um, start the car, let it get to operating temperature. Uh, the electric fan turns on uh, with the algorithm basically of the current temperature, outside temperature, and so on and so forth. Um, if you want to cheat the system, you can turn on the air conditioner, which will make it uh, come on a little bit faster. Assuming that your test was successful, Put it all back together. Uh, you should now have one electrical fan operational. Uh, this reduces pressure on your pulleys, it's more reliable than the clutch fan, and if you ever have to do any maintenance, it's so much easier to get it out.